In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create an email autoresponder for your form. Right-click the form you would like to use, and then under Form Design Tools, select Autoresponder Emails and Redirect Options. In the Autoresponder Profiles and Rules window, select Add Autoresponder Profile. The new profile wizard will lead you through the steps, and select Next to move forward. Autoresponders control the email that is sent when a customer completes filling out a form and also includes the option to redirect customers to a specific URL or display a thank you page. In this tutorial, we're going to create a standard autoresponder. Give the profile a name and indicate a URL to redirect the customer to when he has completed the form. In our example, we're going to leave this blank and create a thank you page instead. Note that the options to display a thank you page or to redirect to a URL are mutually exclusive from each other, meaning that only one can be used. Select the email field from your form that will contain the recipient's email address. If you have any PDF files, you can attach them here. Enter the from email address and the from name you wish to be displayed to the customer. In the subject field, you can add wildcards to personalize the email. Launch the email editor to design a professional email response. We recommend you use HTML for your email, but we give you the option to use text if you wish. Create your email and add wildcards as needed. You can use the toolbar to customize fonts, colors, and even add images of your company logo. To add a company image, select the image icon and then select Browse Server. Find your company logo in the folders displayed, or choose one from the icons Logiforms provides you with. When you find the icon you wish to use, highlight it, and then select Use Selected. Select OK and the logo will be added to the email responder. Select Save when you have completed the email design. Continue to the next screen where you will have the option to create a thank you page. Note, you would not create a thank you page if you have indicated a URL to redirect the customer. Design the thank you page that the customer will see when he completes the form. Use the wildcards as needed and select Insert All Wildcards to insert all wildcards into the thank you page. When you're happy with it, select Save. Then select Finish to complete the autoresponder profile. You can create multiple autoresponders and then use rules to determine which autoresponder will be delivered for that customer. The rules are context sensitive, meaning that the customer will get a specific email response based on his answers in the form. When you create your rule, select which autoresponder you would like to use. Then select Edit Rule to determine what the rule is. For example, if you wanted to send a specific email to customers who indicated that they lived in Chicago, you would select City as the first filter, and then Chicago in the adjacent field. Now when a customer enters Chicago in the City field of your form, he will get the appropriate autoresponder email. Your autoresponder profile and rule are now fully created, and you can preview the autoresponder by selecting Open Form in a new window. Begin filling in the form, and when you're done, select Submit. You now see the autoresponder thank you page and an email has also been sent to the email address that was provided. This concludes the tutorial on setting up a simple email autoresponder.